Welcome to KP Compass. The very first time you visit KP Compass, you will need to create an account. This is the screen you'll see when you first visit the site. You'll need four pieces of information to proceed. First, you'll need your email address. Second, you'll need your password, which is case sensitive. We often recommend that you re use your student ID in case you forgot your password. Number three, you need your name or a way for your teacher to identify you. And the fourth item is you need a course code which is supplied by your teacher. Once you have all four pieces of information, you can proceed. Let's go ahead and go through the process of creating an account. So here I am at the welcome screen and I'm going to type in my email address and then my password, one, two, three, four. Then I click on create. Then it's going to ask me to confirm the password. One, two, three, four. And let's say I make a mistake and I type in an extra character, five. I click on create and it's going to turn red, letting me know that I didn't type in the, the password correctly the second time. So let's recreate it. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm sure I got that right. I click on create and it's going to take me to the second screen. It's going to ask me to give myself a name, KP student, and then type in my email address again to make sure I got it right the first time. Now if I mistype it, like so, it's going to turn red. So let's go ahead and correct that. Okay, good. I got it right this time. It's green. Then I'm going to type in the course code. The course code will be supplied by your teacher. And then once you're done, you press enter. And it's going to tell you you entered it, your course code correct, but if it's wrong, it will turn red, like so. You need to go back and type in your course code one more time. If you get it wrong again, uh, please ask your teacher for help. Once you're done, go ahead and click on Start Learning and you are off to the races. Thank you very much.